Why well, ain't no way, boy? Don't worry, Tito likes it. Plus, he was kind of asking for it. With the way he's dressed. I mean, come on. Wheel of college! I'm liberated. I'm free. The last three weeks, obviously, we switched to Wheel of Mutt. Put simply, dude, it sucked. I hated it so much, dude. I wanted Wheel of College back so bad. Now, listen. You can never make everybody happy, but let me be clear about one thing. The quality of a video is directly linked to my enjoyment while playing. I cannot make a good Madden video right now because I hate it so much. It's so bad. But I love college. So for now, I'm sticking to the Wheel of College. Second thing we need to talk about because this is a season opener. At the end of last episode, I said I was gonna open a Panini box because my opponent rage quit so early. That's super ultra beta. I did not drop 40 points. I do not get to open this. Now, for anybody new, let's get all caught up. This is the Wheel of College Ultimate Team. We start with a base lineup of all silvers. We spin a wheel to build the team with the end goal of grinding all the way to the national championship in online head-to-head -head and becoming national champions. Now, each season, if we make the national championship, we get to prestige a player. These players are locked into the lineup. We always get the best version. One of those players is Jonah Monheim. This is my starting center, 89 overall, stud. Another is James Pierce Jr., who already got this ridiculous upgraded 90 overall card. Also prestige Will Johnson, one of the best defensive players in college football. He has paid off very well. He's a stud. And lastly, look who got another card. Hard. Travis Hunter, originally when I prestiged him, was an 85 overall wide receiver. Then he got a limited 87 corner, and now he's got another 90 overall corner boosted to a 91 on this team. 90 speed, 91 excel, 91 man. This card is absolutely ridiculous. And hopefully either him or Ashton Genty wins... Heisman? Because I'm so sick of Heisman going to quarterbacks. These guys deserve it. Regardless, here's the comparison. So this is the one we had previously. He has plus two speed, plus four acceleration. He's got, I mean, he's got better everything, obviously. It's the same player, higher overall card, but plus four acceleration is really good. There's one more prestige player. We made the national championship last season, and many of you probably could guess this one, but my prestige player is six foot five wide receiver out of Arizona, Tenoroya McMahon. Millen. So all last season, we had 85 overall Tedroy McMillan. And he was honestly really solid. But he had a nuclear game this season. It earned him this 90 overall card right here. Not only is this dude 6'5", but he's got 89 speed, 90 jump. I think he's going to be an absolute menace. I put the ability cutter on him to give him slightly improved cut moves against man coverage. I feel like he's going to be kind of lanky. Figured he needed that ability, but we'll see. So for this brand new season, that's the lineup. Tedroy McMillan and Jonah Monheim on offense. On defense, we've got James Pierce Jr., Will Johnson. Johnson and Travis Hunter. The rest of his lineup is all silvers. Now, luckily, at the start of every season, we spin the team wheel. That'll determine our jerseys and stadiums, but most importantly, our playbooks. Last season was ECU. Oh, it feels good to be back, baby. We have every single college on this wheel. Looks like we're in the O's right now for the Ole Miss Rebels. Do we do we pick up Jackson Dart at quarterback right now? Not gonna lie, bro. The Ole Miss home unis are some of the sickest uniforms in all of college football. That powder blue is so sick. And then the aways, we got all whites with red lettering. We got Ole Miss Stadium. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know a single thing about Ole Miss's offensive or defensive playbooks. So it'll be really fun to see this season. And the final thing is we get a team captain. We get to select one of any player from Ole Miss to add to this team. I don't know what they have. I mean, I, I assume they have a Jackson Dart, who's probably a pretty good overall, so we could pick up a quarterback right now. Oh my god, bro. We could start the season with Tedaroya McMillan and Trey Harris. Oh my god, that would be so nasty. Oh, they do have AJ Brown. I can't do either of those guys. I gotta go Trey Harris, right? Dude, our wide receivers are literally disgusting, but I have Silver Aiden Childs at quarterback right now. Yo, Trey Harris is low-key better than Tedaroya. All right, gentlemen, I gotta get some Ole Miss gear ordered, but it's the Ole Miss Rebel season. We are, of course, zero and zero, and we're ready to kick this season off. But let's see how we can add to this team. We got three wheel spins, and then we've got a head-to-head -head online game. If we win, we keep these wheel spins. If we lose, we lose them. And this is a really good position group to get because we don't have a single linebacker on this team. And the auction house is low-key cooked. I feel like we could get a pretty good player for 100 k Maybe not an 88. Oh my, we can absolutely get an 88. Jesus, the auction house is cooked. There's an 88 Brian Bosworth. There's an 88 Jay Sean Barham. Mason Cobb USC. I don't think I'm gonna get any of these. I like to have team diversity and I don't want Michigan or USC. I have both of those. I found our man, Mikel Williams. 
Georgia. This is more of a pass rush guy. He's got 89 power moves, 85 block shed. He's 6'5", 265 with 88. Jesus. But he still has 84 speed, 88 excel, and he's 6'5". So this is actually a pretty decent user. Hey, first wheel spin landing us an 88. That's a good way to do it. Our second wheel spin. Damn, I spun the hell out of that wheel. This boy is still going. Come on, it's got to be a heater now, right? It's going to be an absolute heater. Yeah. I know it's not technically the power five. It's the power four, but we get our pick of an 80 to 86 overall from any of the power four conferences. Although technically, I think the Pac-12 is considered power five still. Bro, we are going to be in so much trouble if we don't have a quarterback for this first episode. Cam Ward's an 86 overall. He's obviously power four. He's Miami. And also, Cam Ward has kind of been a dog. I have no idea how Miami came back by 20 in that game, but this is a really solid quarterback for right now. I don't know that he's going to be my national championship quarterback. I highly doubt it. I'll probably get somebody better than this. But 86 overall, Cam Ward for right now. That's going to get the job done. Okay, Cam Ward at quarterback. We got Michael Williams at outside linebacker. Our final wheel spin has got to be something that's going to work with us. I mean, I mean, technically this should. I just don't know. All right, we're going to sort by 88, 89. And I have my choice out of the first 12, 88 overalls. So the 89s don't count here. It's only the 88. Seven Neal, Reggie Wayne, Malcolm Lamar. Oh, Ashton Genty. How do I not take Ashton Genty, bro? Dog, this kid, you guys, dude, on Twitch, I'm always playing with my career mode running back. You guys tell me I'm a ball hawk. This guy is legitimately putting up video game numbers every game. He makes me not feel like a ball hog in my road to glory. Also, I am a casual. My whole life, I've been calling him Ashton GNT. It's Genty. Cam Ward at quarterback, Ashton Genty at running back, and a defensive pickup. This is going to be a really big game. All right, here's the new look offense. We're really shallow on the O-line, as we usually are. Cam Ward, Genty, Trey Harris, and McMillan. It's Field Phenom's promo completely taking over this offense. Defensively, Michael Williams has a big burden. We have no safeties, which is horrible. We do have really good corners and we've got one dominant edge rusher this is gonna be such a weird game and you can't forget the challenge wheel the challenge wheel is so unbelievably important right now if we can get this and wait 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 i'd love first td score i kind of like this because i want a 40 bomb so bad anyway we have to score every quarter it doesn't sound like a lot on paper but watch your game film this rarely happens regardless completing the challenge will give us one of any pack in the store or we can salvage a player if we lose i can tell you right now i'm salvaging ash and Genty if we lose but i'm not trying to lose top three jpj tenor royal the mailman he's it's gonna be a little cam ward off here he's got georgia we're old miss 86 overall taking on a 76 overall yeah that's how it goes it's a season opener gentlemen there's not much you can do about it other than suck it up and get a w mcmillan on the kick return not something you see every day. First and 10, our first look at the Ole Miss offense. We've got a lot of weapons, but no offensive line. So we're going to have to get this ball out quick. That's going to be the name of the game today. Trey Harris and press coverage. I thought, Genty, that's a sketchy ball. Little slot offset. We know this play. I've seen this play before. I might, I might even hit Clay Russell. Okay, two-man rush. Hang out in the pocket. Hang out in the pocket. Playmaker, throw it. Oh my God, that had so much potential. Trey Harris, if the ball hits you in your kneecap, that means it was in your catch radius. Real shit, can we lock in? Uh-oh, blitz off the left and the right. Holy shit. Oh my God, you guys suck. I can't even throw the damn football. Now it's time for the classic play call. Pray that one of my big wide receivers catches this football. There's another blitz. It's single coverage. It's Trey Harris. Oh my God, how'd he knock that out? That was actually a money ball. I can't believe he knocked this out. Wow, I thought we actually just had it. First and 10, first and 10, first and 10, first and 10. It's gonna start out with a handoff up the middle. It's gonna go for 1 million bazillion yards. I have Travis Hunter, where's Will Johnson? I need you, buddy. First and 10, he just chewed the entire clock. Stupid. First and goal. I don't really see how we stop this. We have no DL linemen, no linebackers. Let me just take the L on this one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, if he fumbles. If he fumbles. If he fumbles. It's a pass. Oh, he's got a wide open man. Oh, my God. He sold. Holy shit. He sold. He had a wide open man back there. Third and goal. Do we still got this? Are we not washed? Okay. RPO. Uh-oh. Hello! Yes, Travis Hunter! Those tight ends will truck right through you. Plan again. The tight end's got minus five speed now that I just took out his ankles. Kind of unlucky for him. Wear and tear is broken and stupid. I don't want your opinion on it. I don't like this. Is this RPO again? I don't like this. It is RPO again. It's a handoff! 
I shot that gap with Will Johnson. I deserve that tackle. Why did I not get a tackle? I am frustrated. Oh my god, I shot that gap. No bueno. I also need to score in every quarter. There's nine seconds. Do you believe in Trey Harris? Do you believe in Tenor Royal McMillan? Do we just send one absolutely giga yard? Or just house this kick? Oh, you're gonna run mid blitz. Ever tried going outside, buddy? I can block this. He can't get to that. Oh, can I score? Can I score? Can I score? Oh my God, I had to score in every quarter. That actually had a chance. McMillan, beauty. We can't really use Genty as a running back, like a true running back, because my O-line is, is so fucking horrible. But we can throw Diggs in the middle of the field to... Vi Do not tell me that one of my wide receivers is injured. Please tell me both my wide receivers are in, in the football game. McMillan, Harris. Okay, never mind. We're good. I'm going to block here, see if the... Oh, that is main coverage on the left. Oh. Oh, the corner strike route! Ah! Oh my god, that's such a dog! It's a clean fucking pocket, and he cooked him! God, am I am I really liberated? God, that was so beautiful. And then there goes the there goes the insta sack again. Oh my god, you want me to play perfect? Damn it, I will! Come on, you want me to play perfect? That's the only way I get a chance here. You want me to play perfect? Alright. Bet. No bet. Bet. Oh my Fucking God, would you block? Jesus, that's a double team he just walked through the middle of. And I'm still gonna fucking get it. Come on! This guy's gamer tag is the mailman, presumably because he delivers. I have the same name as you. Mine's also the mailman. And mine's also because I deliver. However, I think something got lost in translation. Mine is because I deliver my nuts in your mouth! Come on! Tell him, Genty. Tell him. Oh, he went straight for that escape route. Left the middle of the field wide open. That's a cardinal sin. We need good return coverage. Easily could get returned on with this dog shit silver return team. God, it's like, it's like I know what I'm talking about. We believe. You must believe, chat. There is no chat. I have dementia. Believe. Oh, slow key, a really good ball. How do I make this? Good! Honestly, clock management wise, it would be great if he scored really fast. Because then I could score again, and then it's all tied up. Worst case scenario, he uses all this clock to get a touchdown with no time left. This is an RPO again. Oh, it's just a handoff. But we got bodies on that. Second and goal, he gets two yards out of Sticky Rick. What you don't know about Tafiti is he's a dog. This guy's manually chewing the clock. The mailman doesn't deliver shit, but dog shit clock, man. Fuck you, mailman! Holy shit. Slip screen. Slip screen. Great defense. We were all over that. I think this is going to be the RPO again, right? It is. It is. Can we get there? You're not Travis Hunter. It's a silver. I thought Travis Hunter was over there. He wasn't. If it's a silver, I'm cooked on that every time. We're going to be all right, boys. We're going to be all right. First and 10. Big drive inbound. We don't even have to go that fast. Like, we got to go fast. We don't got to go that fast. Oh, this could be great. Beautiful. Ooh, he predicted that. Gervais Johnson. Gervais Johnson, the silver, is still on his feet. First and goal. He's so worried about McMillan and Trey Harris. He leaves the goal. Okay, now it's a really, now it's really big. I'm going Trey Harris. He's inside and he caught it. Oh my God, Trey Harris. Trey Harris is a dog. Oh my God. EA, by the way, can we just please fix wear and tear? Like, why does his DB have minus seven tackles, speed, press, and hit power? Get this shit out of the game. That's not even my team. That's his team. I'm complaining for him. The voice has said, go for it. You know what that means? Two point conversion. True. True, true, oh my God, it's money! Oh, Miz takes the lead with three seconds left. What did I tell you about the clock? What did I tell you about the clock management? I said this could be money. 15 to 14. Dude, worst case scenario, return touchdown. We cannot give him any freebies. We have to defend this. Please, please. <laughs> oh, it's the most frustrating part about these games. That was Shobo, you're facing a 76 overall. You're fucking ass. Oh my God. There's nothing I can do about it. There's legitimately nothing I can do about it. I have two options. I could kick the ball out of bounds every play and that's it. At the start of every season, all the silvers are on your return team and you're just shit on. Two point conversion. Oh, it's the uh, RPO, it's the RPO. It's not RPO. He's got an escape route. It's so open and he's not gonna take it. Wow, that was sketchy. That was risky, but it paid off. Well played, Georgia. For the record, none of you keyboard warriors have ever played with a dog shit silver team, so I don't wanna fucking hear it from you. Suck this dick and balls just like the mailman can. And I'm gonna win this game. Why the fuck is 
Ashen Genty wear and tear. He hasn't even hardly touched the ball. I don't think I've ran it one time. Genty is wear and tear? Oh my God, Genty is wear and tear. Oh my God. Slow and steady wins the race. Delayed blitz out of that linebacker. God, would you, would one of you stop Gervais Johnson before you literally lose to Silver Gervais Johnson? Genty. Money. I'm not gonna go for two on this next one. I'm gonna kick the PAT. Does he run the same defense? Oh! <laughs> if you miss this, I'm gonna piss my fucking pants! <gasps> McMillan! Woo! The mailman got caught run committing. Now that I think about it, yeah, I am going for two, actually. I'm putting Gentsy across the middle. I'm putting McMillan on an escape. Two point conversion. Let's get fucking weird. <gasps> it's so free. Oh, it's so free! 23 to 22! You don't want this big, long dick, mailman! You don't want this white cock! Sorry. I don't know why I said that. Kick it out of balance. Fuck yeah. Now you don't get free points. True. All right, somebody on my defense is wear and tear to death. You know what's crazy is I know I can turn him over too. I know I can turn him over. Don't run peaks on bubble on me. I fucking invented that play. Okay. That's just not cool. Ricky Williams is faster than every single person on this lineup not named Travis Hunter. And even Travis Hunter doesn't catch it. Don't showboat at me! That is stupid as shit! You're outrunning the volleyball team, brother! You're outrunning fucking Livy Dunn out there, bro! That's the equivalent of what my silvers are. I, I don't even want to hear about Venus Sky. RPO. RPO. I keep forgetting how he's running it. He just runs it, and then I look up, and it has happened already, you know? 23 to 30, doesn't matter. Better player wins, I'm gonna win this game. First and 10, we've seen a lot of success with this play so far. Just, just dagger. Just classic dagger. And it works well because he's kind of vacating the Genty route. He also just got a holding, I think. Illegal contact. I don't know how you get that. This is really... Dude, my play art's gone. I don't have the play art for my place. It doesn't show my primary receiver. All right, I'm trying it. I can't even... Oh, it's actually setting up really nicely. Damn, they ran straight through that lineman. But hey, five yards, I'll take it. It kind of sucks that I can't see my play art, though. That's actually really frustrating. Okay, it's like kind of working, but lagging really hard there. And I can't see the first down? Third and five, I'm running the football. I can't see the damn first down. Take a good angle. It don't matter when you do that. It's got to be five yards. Holy shit, the whole game is just completely lagging out right now. I'm about to run this play. I can't see a single fucking route on it. I can't audible. And I can't audible. Oh my God. All right, fuck it. Let's go. Jesus. Are you serious? Fuck it. Come on. No, oh, Montori Foster. Silver Montori Foster almost did it. I'm putting McMillan on a post. And I just got a flag. What did I get a flag for? Dude, could you just fuck me any harder? This is honestly such a good game too. Okay, so now I can see the first down, but I can't see my routes. I'm just trying to confirm that my hot routes are going through. Okay, that's a hot route. It's Trey Harris or McMillan. Trey Harris has got him inside. I got to go for it. Trey Harris! 264 yards and three touchdowns for Cam Ward. Oh my God. Could I just play the game, please? I just want to see my routes. Is that so much to ask for? Oh, who is on? What is, go what is, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I can't. Oh, this is bad. This clock is really bad. Buck is super bad. McMillan could be a touchdown though. Oh, no fucking he is, though. Trey Harris is having a nuclear game. Okay, here's the scary thing. This is going to make it 30 to 30. The scary thing is he just holds on to the ball and kicks a field goal. That'd be the worst case scenario. And frankly, I can't stop his run game. And he knows it. I mean, he's basically scored one play touchdowns all game. That was an insane drive. But we got to find a way to get a stop, and I don't know how. I think that I have to kick this out of bounds, too. No, I have to risk it. I have to risk actually stopping him. I have to actually kick it to him and just pray that everybody does something. How did he return it last time? He just did that. Yes, great defense. It's gonna take everything, gentlemen. It is gonna take everything. Oh, oh damn. I actually thought I'd, I like played that so well. I didn't realize how that throw goes off. I just had a chance to make the play of the game. I sold that. I really did. I, I had a shot at picking that, but I, I overplayed it egregiously. I didn't really know how it's set up. Yes, it is. Oh, we got bodies in there. I'm gonna let him continue to milk the clock. Oh. What did he just run? He could have just fumbled. Holy shit. Fourth and inches. He could end the game with just like a QB sneak. Oh! Oh my fucking God! Ran commit. I ran commit middle and I usered the tight end. And who just made the play of the game? Was that Michael Williams? That is our only defensive player that isn't a silver in the interior of the entire defense. I have 51 seconds and two timeouts and I don't have any fucking hot routes. I can't see a damn thing. Thank you. I need it right now. I gotta be able to see right now. First and 10. 
Here we go. Okay, quick blitz. Oh, what? The actual fuck! What? What? Tedaroya is wide open! That is the single worst way to lose a football game ever. Holy fuck! He is wide open, you threw six yards behind him? Yeah, I mean, I only have two timeouts, so it doesn't really matter, unless he whiffs the field goal. Might not even be a field goal to whiff. That is the biggest bailout I've ever seen. I, I thought that I was free, I thought that I was liberated from um, EA by getting back on Wheel of Cut, I was not liberated at all. I was just put in, I was just put in hell in a different parallel universe. Frankly, he should have taken the touchdown. That is so unbelievably unlucky. You just got handed the football game. I played so good. I played so good. That's crazy, bro. I just threw a ball to a wide open Tedaroya McMillan and he threw it so far behind him that it went into the burnt defender's hands. Here's how we lose a ball game, gentlemen. 30 to 30. We get the ball with 51 seconds. Here's how you lose a ball game. Look at Tedaroya. He's so fucking open. And Cam Ward's not even really pressured. I mean, yeah, there's a guy coming. There's a guy getting there. What the fuck are you diving at? Let's talk about that too. Where the fuck are you going? Yeah, there goes our, ch you're diving towards our chances to win the fucking ball. Tedaroy McMillan thinks he's an Olympic diver. You're the worst prestige I've ever had. What the fuck are you smoking? Tedaroy McMillan just, oh my God, he took an edible. He smoked the whole pre-roll. He ripped the fattest fucking dab you've ever seen that would out, it would outsize Hurricane Haleen. What the fuck? That's how we lose a ball game, bro. It's gonna be a really, really good season. In fact, this is how we started ECU season. And we went on to win a national championship in ECU season. We lost an incredibly close game. I'll get your heart rate up, tell you what. But sadly, it's a loss. And since it's a loss, it means we lose every player we just added. We didn't complete our challenge wheel either. We needed to score in every quarter and we did not do that. Um, Kim Ward, you sold the game completely by throwing the worst pass I've ever seen in the most clutch moments. So frankly, I'm not sad that you're leaving the team. Ashton Genty, you sadly are just a product of a dog shit quarterback. Because wow, you, oh my goodness, buddy. You could be so lethal on this team, but you got sold by the boy, completely sold. And Michael Williams, you made the fourth and inches stop to put us in a position to win that game. And you also got sold by Cam Ward. That puts a pin in the season an opener. We're 0 and 1. Two more losses. The season resets. So we got to be clutch from here on out. I love you, boys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.